Normally, a slide with bulleted list looks like this. What if we can make the same slide look like this? On a click, we reveal the first point like this, then the second point like this, the third one like this, and the fourth one like this. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> the best part is, this slide is absolutely easy for anyone to create, provided they have Office 365 account. Because we are going to exploit the magic of 3D models combined with PowerPoint Morph to create this effect. Let us learn how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. As always, we start from a blank slide. Let us insert a 3D model by going to Insert 3D Models, Stock 3D Models. In that, let us go down and check out 3D shapes. In 3D shapes, we want a semi-circular shape which is way down and you can select this one and say insert. Now we have a semi-circular 3D model. Let us adjust the size a little bit like so and place this to one side. Then let us make one more copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then place it right next to the previous one. Then press Ctrl D again and D again. So we have four of these shapes. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a band like so. This is to show that this is the place where they are resting. So let us right click, send this to back and choose a different color. In this case, I'm going to choose this teal color. Next, let us right click, duplicate slide. Here, let me choose transitions and add morph transition. Now let us make the change to the first hemisphere. Select this and then click and move it up so you are able to reveal the top portion like this. Then let us go to home, go to text box tool, write number one here, choose a thicker font like 2 cent empty condensed extra bold, make it extremely large like this, place it over here. For sufficient contrast, let us choose yellow color and to make this look realistic, let us go to shape format, go to text effects, go to shadow and choose this perspective upper right perspective shadow. Looks realistic. Then let us go to home, go to the text box tool and write our text. You can replace this text about point 0.1. Let us increase the size to 20 and then adjust the width like so. Place it right below the first one. If required, you can make some adjustments to the way in which the positioning is done of the various sentences. And then let us keep this right below the first one. Job done. Then let us right click duplicate slide. This slide already has morph transition. Now let us select the second hemisphere, click and move this up. So you expose the top part like this. You don't necessarily have to make it exactly match the previous one. Let it be organic. Then let us select this, this, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and then place it right in the middle of the second one. Make the change, say two, and this is point two, done. Then right click, duplicate slide, do exactly the same thing as we did before. Move it up so we are able to expose this. Third point is shown, select this and this, Control C, Control V, and then place this right over here. Of course, you need to ensure that all the alignments are in place since I am doing it a little bit faster. I am not really paying too much attention to those details. Let us make the change to point three and then right click duplicate slide and then expose the last hemisphere like so. And then select this and this, press control D and then place this right over here and then change this to four, done. Now let us bring the first one right back and paste it over here. And then let us select all of these press Ctrl C and then go here and press Ctrl V and make sure that you add morph transition to the last slide. So that is how everything is closed. Beautiful. Now let us go to the first slide, go to slideshow and on a click, I reveal the first point like so, then the next point like so, the next one like so and the final one like so. And once I finish talking about all four points, I click and everything is closed. 
but the points are shown. Do you want to learn more such creative tricks in PowerPoint? Then join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. Link is in the description box below the video. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial we have put together called Realistic Spinning Globe Animation Effect in PowerPoint. The way the animation looks is like this. Can you see here? It really looks very beautiful and the best part about this effect is I have done this using nothing but 2D shapes. To learn how I did this, you can click on the link that is shown right here on your screen, watch the video and learn a very powerful technique that can come in handy to impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video.